All right, I'm filming. Angelo's yeah. mom is here. Uh, so, first of all, I feel sick right now. It's weird. But uh, why? I'll tell you in a minute. Well, I don't know why exactly, but I'll tell you why I'm calling you. So, it's kind of a big uh, news story right now. I mean, it, not in uh, headline news, but in headline news, but in my I life. I don't have the patience for this stuff now. Wait, what is it? Why don't oh you have the patience God. for it? What? I said, why don't you have the patience for it? All right, uh, listen. It has to do with how I slept the other night. Oh, boy. <laughs> now what? Oh, man. I can't. Oh, look. I, I don't know. If I laugh too much, I'm going to puke. I don't know. I'm not feeling good. Um, I went to sleep in my car. Boy, I am not looking forward to telling my mom this. When I woke up, I really don't want to tell you tell her this. When I woke up, don't tell me. Okay. Well, phone calls over then. Uh oh. What is Look, it? I went to sleep in my car. When I woke up, yeah, I was thrown. Yeah. I was thrown against the steering wheel. My car was skidding down the road. What? Yeah. How did this happen? Somebody crashed into me while I was sleeping. Was a car? Yeah. Yeah, I was parked. Oh my god. Yeah. So, so now what? Well, okay, they hit me hard. Um, it looked like a can opener went to work on the back of the car. Oh my god. I went to the hospital. What? There's no permanent or no serious injuries that I'm aware of because uh, they did a chest x-ray and stuff. I hit the steering wheel and my ribs are bruised. And that's why I can't even cough really <laughs> because because it hurts oh, my ribs. Oh God, Andrew, when this happened? <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> I can't. There is nothing funny about this. <laughs> but I'm going, I can't laugh too much. Okay, 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 what? <laughs> nothing funny about this. Oh, I'm gonna puke too, but I can't puke because my ribs hurt. It's gonna hurt so bad. Sunday morning it happened. So, I went to the hospital. I was there like 12 hours, but it was mainly because I was waiting for tests. They took my blood pressure. Basically, they did a CT scan of my chest, x-ray. Doesn't look like any fractures or anything major, but the car I could not even drive it. The car is destroyed. Oh my god! So, what will happen? What happens now? Well, look, it's been a few days. Uh, my insurance company has given me a rental car. Um, the insurance adjuster looked at it. They said it is totaled. It's a total loss. So, I'm in the rental car for now. So, fortunately, all my things are in here. My car is at a body shop where it's going to be towed to a salvage yard, and I'm waiting on... Oh, how long can you have a rental car? Two weeks. The reason it's two oh. weeks is because um, it's going to take two weeks for the title of my car to come from Virginia to California or some paperwork or something. So that gives me a little time to try and find another car because um, otherwise it was going to be five days and that's really short notice and that's not good. Oh my god! What the fuck it was hot and why they crashed? They can't see at night? Oh man, it was terrible. Um, yeah, I woke up screaming. I mean, you can imagine. I woke up, my car was going down the road, screeching down the oh road. My and my god. My ri I hit the steering wheel. I was just screaming because I knew my car was being destroyed. I knew what was going on, even though it was like a dream. I knew my car was hit. Wait a minute. It was hit and run? Yes, they drove away. Oh. 
So fortunately there were some, you know, good Samaritan neighbors there who were watching and they immediately came over, called the police, um, and, and they uh, offered me some support and stuff. Guys, uh, Yes, basically somebody did Good. admit fault, um, so now it's going through insurance and stuff. So obviously I can't talk too much about the investigation and all fine, that. That's fine. That's fine. It's okay. There's a felony hit oh. and run case, you know, open. I guess. I mean, there, so that's a you know, um, it's a criminal case now. So I'll leave that to the uh, detectives and all that. Oh but. My and I only had five days rental coverage at first, thank goodness it's two weeks, because the insurance is so expensive here that I got all the minimum coverage of everything. So I brought it down to only five days, you know, not thinking, hey, I might need 30 days at some point of rental coverage. Now I wish I had 30 days, but how could I know? So at least I'm covered with everything for now and uh, I'm kind of banged up. I can't exercise. It sucks. I hate it. I wake up. I can't exercise because I'm, it, my ribs hurt too much. I got to be careful not to aggravate it. I can't cough hard. I can't, you know, whatever. But that's a good thing about working out as much as I did. It lets you recover better because, like, I'm, you know, in shape. I'm exercising hard. So, you know, when I am able to exercise, I'm able to recover more quickly to sort of get back to the shape I was in more quickly and now I don't know why today what it is stress or food I felt like puking but I can't puke because it will hurt so bad in my ribs you know? just because of the bruises or whatever oh my god <sighs> I feel lightheaded and stuff but this is four days ago this happened and I just didn't want to say anything until now but uh, yeah, so cars destroyed. That's real sad because that uh, car, man, it could have lasted another couple of years. Even with all the problems, um, I was yeah. trying to get it fixed, you know? So I actually made a video on Saturday uh, that was, I was like copying this YouTube mechanic. He's really popular, Scotty Kilmer. Check him out, everyone. He's really cool. He's in Houston, Texas. So I made a video copying his style and saying the top five things wrong with my car and asking if he'll fix it and make a video of it. And I was willing to take it to Texas to do it because he seems like an expert. Next morning, car is destroyed. So that's oh sad my. because whatever car I find now, it's sure to need some work and I'm going to need to get it cheap. But the good thing is... Can you stretch the rental to another week or to three weeks or something? I don't know. I don't know. I might ask. I don't know. Everything ask you know. Them, ask them. When you need money from a company, it's always like uh, you got to push extra hard for anything. Oh now, my God. Yeah, man, they hit my car hard. I'm telling you, it is destroyed. It looks like, you know, a tuna can it was uh, sliced open. Um, and I'm just lucky that I wasn't, like, you know, seriously hurt and that they hit the rear of the car. Because yeah. the, the front, you would look at it, you couldn't tell it was hit, at least inside. Outside, you can tell. Stuff came loose and there was glass everywhere, man. And parts of their car were destroyed, too. But they drove off. And so I slept like an hour and a half for like 48 hours because I went to sleep late that night and then woke up to that. I couldn't fall back asleep again. I was hurting so much in the hospital. Oh my God. Yeah. It's wild oh out here. Lord. Oh God. Oh my God. Yeah, it's pretty wild out here. I mean, ah. just, I can't believe it, you know. I was wondering why the insurance is so expensive, and uh, sure enough, I get hit just sleeping in my car. So, you know, we need more safe parking spots for people who sleep in their cars here, because I was sleeping on the street, because parking lots a lot of times don't let you sleep there. Now, I want to work. I feel terrible. I can't. I couldn't work on my laptop for a few days. I was worried it was destroyed. It's not. But uh, I had to give it to someone to store for a little bit because the car, the trunk was demolished and I was able to get it out and give it to someone to store while the car went to the body shop because anybody can access it there and steal stuff out of it. So I felt horrible not being able to write and work on my videos, but I got it back uh, yesterday and now I'm working again, but I feel so sick to my stomach and my head today. I can't, 
do anything. I don't know if it's what, something I ate or stress or what, but um, yeah, so Just now. Lie down. <sighs> I, I don't even you feel good lying down, do really. Much, don't do much physical work until you heal, you know? And I gotta, I gotta do to. something physical because I feel terrible when I don't exercise. No, you need to heal first, Angelo. Thank God you're okay, oh my God. Oh. Yeah, so uh, it's just like I said, it's wild out here. So now, basically, I'm waiting for the the check to come from the insurance company, and um, then I gotta look for a car. The good thing is, too, one of the good Samaritans who helped me, they saw me park there a lot, and because they stay by there too. He he's a mechanic. It's a married couple. The mechanic said he'll anytime he wants me to come look at a car with him. He'll come look at it, inspect it for me. Because, you know, any used car, I'm looking for something basically for a few hundred dollars. Like, you know, maybe I'll find something between five and a thousand, five hundred and a thousand dollars, maybe a little more. But it's gonna be old, it's gonna have a lot of miles on it. And so, what I'm counting on is being a reliable car, like an old Honda or a Toyota, and have a mechanic look at it and see if any major work needs done and ask questions about it, all that stuff. Because, you know, I can't inspect all this stuff myself. And uh, so, but that makes it a narrow thing as far as the rental's gonna be not covered after a certain time. And uh, yeah, I'll try and ask if they'll extend it even a few days, but so then I might be paying for a rental once I get the check and that money's gonna be going quickly on a rental. So I gotta find a car quick and it's gonna involve driving around and checking and making phone calls, asking questions, making sure the mechanic is, is around um, to check with me. Oh, he was real helpful. They, the back windshield window was destroyed. There was glass every, there's still glass I'm finding in my stuff, my laundry and everything. Cause the glass went shattered and it went everywhere. I was finding it in my jacket after I went to the hospital. Well, right? they didn't find anything major. I mean, all I'm doing is, you know, my legs hurt, my ribs are hurt, but yeah, fortunately yeah, nothing. That's, that's because of bruises, but... Yeah, nothing uh, fractured that they could tell or anything like that. So... Oh my God! Fortunately, unfortunately, yeah, that's the sad part is I gotta find a new car or a used car, but um, it's gonna be tricky finding one and not spending too much money looking and getting it done and then whatever I get it's sure to need maybe at least a little work a few hundred dollars so I got a plan on that and in the meantime I still got to make videos I had to miss the movie I was gonna work on I was gonna work on a movie for nine days then my car got destroyed so I said not only is the car but physically I can't do physical labor If I can concentrate, my head's hurting right now. I felt so lightheaded it was gonna pass out, but then I was fine Do as far as my head. head. No. No. What's there to check if I don't know what? If I'm not complaining of like a head trauma or something. Oh. I'm feeling what sick did because. You have a Sunday? Yeah, I'm feeling sick because my stomach's sick. Like I, I've got like uh, you know diarrhea and I might puke. Um, but uh, yeah, Sunday morning at like 2.30 in the morning, something like that. Why you didn't tell me? Did we talk? Why you didn't say anything? Why would I say anything? Oh, God. Oh, no, I'm, I'm gonna worry sick all night. Well, now I'm trying to park in safer spots, but I thought that place was safe. That's the thing, because it's like an empty street. But you never know when someone's gonna go drive it. Who knows if you know what condi condition they were in. I'm not gonna speculate too much, but um, so at least someone did claim fault. So now it's just got to go through all the investigation and stuff, and uh, and uh, the insurance company. So basically, what I, all I can hope is I'll come out of this with a reliable used car. This is a wild area. I'm telling you, like it's just, it's such a huge city. 
I mean, you get all kinds here. Well, at least you're okay. This yeah. is amazing. You, yeah. You're okay. Yeah. Uh, fortunately, I can't believe I didn't break. I was sure when I got hit, I broke a rib. I thought for sure because my ribs were hurting so bad. But uh, no, well, thank on, goodness. Uh, when we got hit, what was that? Three years, three, almost four years ago. Yeah. In the Toyota. Yeah. We got hit, remember? What happened? Nothing happened. We didn't even go to the hospital because I was wearing my um, belt. Yeah. But I, I got, you know, just um, bruised, I guess. My ribs, they were hurting for a month, I think. Yeah. For a month, my right side. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Oh, my God. Oh, thank you. You're okay. That's amazing. Everything else is going to be um, fixed. But you're okay. Good. God. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's I mean, a scare. Oh, that's a scare. So, what kind of sick person she then around? Yeah, I, I don't know. I don't know, why does anybody do that? I mean, it was uh, a major accident. I mean, the trunk, it was like, part of it was almost like disintegrated, and the rest, it wouldn't even close. The car was not drivable. The only thing I, I uh, that would basically, well, what happened, um, it, some uh, somebody, a uh, semi-truck needed to pull out of the parking lot right by where I was parked, and they need to turn wide. My car was moved forward to right to the edge of the driveway, whereas I parked a couple feet back before. So he said, can I back it up? And I was like, man, I'll see, I don't know. And I drove it back, but it was like uh, driving a, I don't know, it was, the metal was sticking into the tires and stuff. So it was grinding along. I was barely able to get it. I was hoping maybe I could drive it at least somewhere, but it was like, there's no way you can drive it in traffic. It'll tear the car up because the metal's all bent and destroyed and dig it into the tire and the frame's bent. So all I could do is just barely, Inside? The inside inside was pretty much fine. Yeah, it was just the rear of the car. Oh. Well, the whole frame and everything was bent. The mechanic looked at it underneath. Oh, so the God. whole thing, it was just, I already knew basically it was gonna be a total loss. There's no way uh, the car was worth fixing with the value of it and then with how badly it was destroyed. Yeah, yeah. And I just oh. got those new tires on it less than a month ago. The brakes, control arms, bushings. Rotors. I remember. Yeah, still paying that off. Uh, well, look. Uh, uh, I'm just gonna say a prayer. Oh my God. Oh dear God. Uh. Well, look. Uh, the main thing is you okay? Mm hmm. I check back with you. I've been busy for a couple of days. I check back with you tomorrow. Mm -hmm. But get some rest, okay? okay. Just lie oh. down. And don't, have your head a little bit higher. You know, don't don't have it flat. Mm -hmm. Don't lie down flat. Oh, well, I always do because the car seat doesn't lie back flat. Mm hmm Anyway, so uh, I'm going to wrap up the video now, but I'll, I'm going to keep talking okay. to my mom. So thanks oh for watching, everybody. God. I hate saying it, but like, subscribe. I need all the help I can get, so help me out. Now my mom knows what happened, and I'm uh, going to discuss more. And man, I feel sick to my stomach. But I can't puke because oh. my ribs hurt. <laughs>